Electric toothbrushes are better. I am a manual gal. Are you really? Mm -hmm. The vibrations are more effective at reducing plaque. I don't care if you're the best vibrator in the world. <laughs> Alrighty, special guest today. Monica, one of our amazing Beam City hygienists. Hello. Has agreed, reluctantly agreed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. She came uh, early morning before clinic to provide you valuable information on how to keep your teeth healthy for the rest of your life. Yes. And this is free. It is free. Right? I'm gonna start at OnlyFans. <laughs> it's teeth picks and feet picks. Mm, I don't think everyone, anyone's ever done that combo before, so well, that's a good idea. Anyways, <laughs> anyways. All right, so um, the reason that we're doing this video is that this is something that we talk about every single day. And if I had one wish in the world, besides having a girlfriend, it would be, it would be that people actually understand the importance of proper oral hygiene. Wouldn't that be your desire too? Yes. So Monica, a common question. You probably get this all the time. How can I improve bad breath? You want to tongue scrape. Um, you want to make sure that you're rinsing using a mouthwash and chew gum with xylitol. Chewing gum stimulates salivary flow. Xylitol, sugar-free gum can help. What do you think is the most commonly mistaken technique when it comes to brushing? The back and forth. Mm, the back and forth. It's the same a dance move. Now, why is this, why is this bad? Because when we say brushing our teeth, isn't that what we do? So we want to make sure that we're preserving our gums and starting at the gum line and moving away. As Monica was saying, a lot of times, kids and adults alike will do, this is the way we brush our teeth, <laughs> brush our teeth. Wrong, it's not. You gotta go in circular motions at a 45 degree angle. Of course, you're not gonna say that to a kid because they don't know what that means. You just say, hey, we're gonna make sure that we get in between your white and the red part. We're gonna go in little circles and then sweep away with the broom. Commonly missed areas, Back teeth, the uppers, because they can't be visualized, and then the insides of the front. Let's say that I had a glass of wine or coffee, and I decide to brush right away. Good or bad? Definitely not. I recommend waiting at least 30 to 45 minutes before brushing mm. and making sure that you're drinking a glass of water or even rinsing with a fluoridated mouthwash before brushing. Yes, perfectly stated. As Monica was saying, a lot of things are acidic. If your mouth dips below pH of 5.5, your enamel will start to demineralize. And this graph is called Stefan's curve. If you look at how long it takes for saliva to buffer the pH back up above 5.5, that's where the waiting half an hour is recommended. Manual versus electric is the next question. Electric toothbrushes can be more effective at reducing plaque. So I do recommend them for uh, my patients. They also have built-in timers. They're different brush heads. And if something is helpful and makes your life easier and you use it twice a day, I think it's worth the investment. Do you use an electric at home? I am a manual gal. Are you really? Mm -hmm. I don't like the electric toothbrushes. For real? Yeah. I don't feel clean with it. Yeah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna gift you this then. I've tried the Sonicare. I've tried the Oral-B. This I, has three different brush heads. I really like the tapered ends of the bristles. Mmm, okay. <laughs> this is not even part of the ad. <laughs> okay, I'll try it out. Try it. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is like, this is not even scripted. I've been using it the last three months. Really? Yeah. This Smart Clean by Ollie has three different brush heads and different cleaning modes. So intensity also can be oh, changed. Okay. Not only is the Smart Clean versatile, from a user experience, it's also very convenient. The battery life is very long, and the quarterly subscription makes it easier to get replacement brush heads when you need. Not to mention a lifetime warranty as long as you have the subscription. In the hygiene kit, feel free to try Ollie's fluoride toothpaste and dental silk floss. The pricing is very reasonable at less than $12 a month. That's about two coffees in New York City for a package delivered to your door. Ollie has a limited offer for my audience, so get the Smart Clean now before the offer expires. Go ahead and give it a try. Here you go, Monica. No, I just need it too. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Thank cool. You. I'll see you later. <laughs>
Do you know, like the Korean toothbrushes at H Mart? Bamboo ones? Not the bamboo ones, but they're like, they're skinny. Like it gets so fine at the end. Those are the ones I use. Lush toothbrush is the way to go. I don't know. No, no, no. Okay. You gotta get, you gotta right, get with I'll it. Try with it. it. You'll be convinced. Electric toothbrushes are better. The vibrations are more effective at reducing plaque. I don't care if you're the best vibrator in the world. <laughs> moving on. Moving on, moving on. Okay. This has to be like PG. No, it doesn't. We're all adults here. All right, so uh, we're going to move on to flossing technique. So there are two different types of floss. There's the string floss, and then there's the one with the pick. I prefer the string. I prefer the string as well. But they're both effective if used properly. If used properly. So ideally we want to be going in between mm -hmm. and hugging the tooth on one side and going underneath the gum line like this. Mm -hmm. It's normal to go this underneath. Most people to go don't this go that deep. far. Yes. Why is it important to go that far? because all the plaque starts to build up at the gum line. And if you don't remove it, what happens? It starts to move its way underneath the gum line. And that's when you can get hardened plaque or calculus, calculus. Which, is, which cannot be removed by the toothbrush or the floss at home. And then you have to come see us. And the dangerous part about having calculus sit there over time is that it can eat away at your bone support. Mm -hmm. That's how you can lose your tooth. Mm -hmm. So what starts off as an innocuous or a seemingly harmless a layer of plaque can result in bone loss, which can result in tooth loss. Tooth loss. That's not a good day. Mm -hmm. And that C shape that Monica is talking about is important. There's two surfaces that you need to get in between. A lot of people just go up and down. Yes. Then you're also not getting under the gum line, and you might actually hurt your gum just by going straight down. Question for you. Mm -hmm. If you see bleeding, should you stop? No. Well, so what does bleeding mean? Healthy gums don't bleed. If your gums are bleeding, that means that there's some form of inflammation. As you continue to brush and floss correctly, the bleeding will eventually slow down and eventually stop. And that's one thing that a lot of pediatric patients get confused about. Because when kids see blood, they think, ouch, I'm hurting myself, I should stop. You think of it as a warning. Oh, you gotta brush better here the bleeding will eventually go away. Your gums will become more stable, yes. less red, less inflamed. Another common myth is that you're not supposed to rinse after you brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you? I don't rinse. Oh, you don't rinse? Yeah, okay, I Okay, you do it properly. Rinse. Yeah. Okay. I'd say most people make the mistake mm -hmm. uh, of rinsing out the toothpaste. They feel gross if they have the toothpaste sitting there. Yeah. But you do want to leave the fluoride toothpaste on your teeth. If your girlfriend or boyfriend's toothbrush looks like this, what should you do, Monica? We're going to replace it for them. This that's that's, that's a... gonna be my final answer. <laughs> Off camera, she said run, which I thought was a little harsh. She's trying to look more, you know, more uh, like a human being I'm, now. I'm trying to change. <laughs> I'm trying to be a better person. 20, 2023 resolution. I love it, I love it. Okay, yeah. get soft yes. bristles. Soft bristles all the time. Do not buy the hard ones. You're gonna abrade all your gums away. But yeah, don't buy the hard ones. And if you're, you know, if you're baby watching this, get the extra soft ones. Extra soft, mm hmm Okay. One thing I will mention is that if you haven't been doing this, if you haven't gone to the dentist because you might be afraid of getting judged or that you're afraid of what's gonna happen, rest assured that this is stuff that we see every single day. And it's our job to try to help. We want to help you. We want to educate you. We understand the fears associated with going to the dentist. Even the cleaning can seem intimidating, especially if you haven't gone in a while. If you're watching this and you feel that way, uh, give it your best try yes. to step in there and let your provider know, I'm kind of afraid about this and this. And hopefully you will receive the gentle care that you deserve and that you'll get a fresh start. Yes. Uh, we hope that some of these small habits can build into long-term oh, healthy time, teeth. Yes. And for any single guys out there who are interested in incredibly hardworking, kind-hearted girl like Monica. Pretty doctor. Like me, like a girl like me. <laughs> Wait, what? But for me, I'm, yo, I'm a straight dude. You're confusing me. I was trying to, Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> this is our Instagram. <laughs>